Hi, welcome to the channel. If you're a subscriber, thank you. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Hit that notification bell, that way you know when I have new videos up. And don't forget, give this video a thumbs up, that way YouTube will share it out. It's time for this ugly thing to go. All right, so if you've been following along on our build, you know that our dresser just has a thin three quarter inch piece of plywood on it. And today we are gonna go over and we're gonna talk to a guy and we're gonna have a custom top made for the dresser and he's gonna let me help. So let's go. So we are at Don's house um, and Don's gonna tell you what he's gonna do for us. But first of all, we wanted to say thank you. He has showed us the some patterns some different types of woods and he's actually invited us over here today so that we can actually pick out the wood that we're going to use to make our top so thank you so much You're don welcome. love the little knots yeah i love the little knots so then what i would do is take you know build up the start to build up the um the frame because i said i'll build it in yes. the box yeah basically so i'll build it up and I'll probably make it 21 and a half inches wide. Uh -huh. So you get, because what's going to happen is when you cut this piece, these are going to stick out. Yes. And either either you're going to protrude from your dresser mm -hmm. and keep this as exactly. the 21. Exactly. And that. Yes. So, you yep. know, nope, that's perfect. You don't want to walk by the front no. of the dresser and look in the drawer. Right. Yeah. Perfect. So what's Exciting. really cool, because it's, you know, we'll get to where you want to go right. and what you want, as opposed to, oh, I've got this table and this table. Which one would you like to buy? Yeah. yeah so we didn't want to go. This is, yeah, we wanted to use that this edge line. because mm -hmm. that brings it back this yeah. way. Right. So come to here. Let's take. Oh, that's right. I almost feel like a little closer so that this isn't so large. There you go. So what I like about that is the area back here and on that side mm -hmm. will be where the, we talked about like the purple being a lot more there. Yeah. And then think of starting to pick silver up in here uh -huh. and then coming out on this side okay okay and that so it would look like flowing water yep. but yeah. what makes this really cool yeah. each pour was okay adjust for the next one how do you want to change right. what do you right. want it to look like for the next one so our next one will be cut these to size run them through the planer on that so we get to the same thickness uh -huh. So we want to lay this back up and on. Okay. How good are you freehanding circle saw? Yeah. Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Okay. I'm terrible. I always joked I became an engineer instead of an architect and I can't draw a straight line with a straight edge. <laughs>
mica powder and that starts filling it in. So what you want to do is just start pouring evenly down the crack. Okay. Yeah. Slow down on the silver just a little bit. See how this looks as we merge it through. Yep. And then just kind of dribble so back here some. Slow down the rate. There you go. And then do the same thing here. Start with what little bit you want down there. And then work this way. And do very little. That. And then down the side a little bit. Okay, and how's that look up at that end? Good silver? Oh, yeah. Let's hold off on your more purple. That looks good. So I think it's a little more silver down there. Here? Okay. Yeah. Good. I love that. Okay. And maybe a little more up here. That looks so good right here. I love okay. that. Look at the silver, and if you want to mix oh, some there. Just a little bit more down here. I love that. That looks so good. And then let's go ahead and mix this out. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was letting you do that part. No, that's huh? okay. I'm not getting it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like how that, I like how that did that. I 
I love, yeah. So. When you do that, let me just get this for you. Yeah. Yep, that's, yep, perfect, perfect, because it looked like a, oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. Trying not to move anything around a lot. Mm -hmm. got the top this is a combination of beeswax and some oils and it came with the counter and so we're gonna give this a nice finish we didn't want that varnish on top that that shellac on top because we wanted that natural wood look to match the the sink so we'll put a heavy coat on here really work this in and then We'll have to top coat this again, but look at it draw that color out. <laughs> 